Hi, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the location of the on off button for a jacuzzi tub. In the description, I'll have a link where I ordered my new parts. Uh, this part here is the control box, my new on off switch, and this is tubing that goes from the switch to the control box for pneumatic tubing. It just pushes the air through and I'll describe that later when I put it in. Okay, for this job, it's pretty simple. We just need some silicone. I have some painter's tape uh, for when I drill into the tub and then I use the drill, a hole drill, uh, which is one and a quarter inches is what I needed for this job so that the button will fit in perfectly with that one and a quarter. I moved into this house uh, a few months ago when the button wasn't working. So as you can see, when I press the button, it doesn't move. Uh, this is a common issue with these buttons. They do wear out over time. Uh, however, if I wanted to change this button to get to it, I'd have to cut into the wall of my bedroom for access. So today I'm going to show you how to drill a hole into your tub and put a new button on a side where we have access to. So in the future, if something happens to the button for the, on the on off switch, it's easily replaced. Um, to do this, I also have to replace the control box because my jacuzzi tub happens to be over 20 years old and there's some complications that it's hardwired right now to turn the power on and off and we're going to put a pneumatic on off button for the switch. Okay, so the first thing I did to make sure it was the on off button and to make sure my motor wasn't burned out was I did fill the bathtub up with water and I did run the motor. I pulled out the plug here and I plugged it into an extension cord and it, the motor works perfectly. So I knew at that point it was definitely the on off button, which I could tell because it was uh, one push in. And the one thing I did notice with the control box, it's an old style. Uh, it is hooked up to a small electrical impulse as opposed to being pneumatic. So I had to order a new control box as well with the button. I will add the link to the uh, description for the control box that I had in the uh, new switch that I, I ordered as well. So I, I taped the tub so I wouldn't crack the tub a little bit uh, when the, I drill into it. So I'm going to drill my hole uh, with this bit right here, the hole drill bit. And I'm just going to go slowly through the tub. I'm going to let the drill do the work um, so I don't crack the tub. Okay, so this is the old control box, and as you can see, it was actually connected uh, with electrical outlets as opposed to uh, being a pneumatic kind of a pump. And with this particular um, old box, uh, basically the motor was plugged in right here. You push the button in, send a little electrical charge, turned on the uh, box, and it gave power to the motor. Uh, here is my, my new control box. And basically the first thing I'm going to do is take the uh, tubing. I'm going to put it in here. Uh, the plug for the motor is going to go in here and I'm going to plug that into an outlet that's underneath the tub and that'll give power to the control box and we'll put this tubing to the other wire. But, okay, so I have my new on off switch here. I'm going to take this ring off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this on the back side into the, through the tube. And what I did was I checked it a little bit ago and I cut the tube to the right size for this. Put the tube through the hole there. I'll carefully insert the tube into the new switch. And I'll turn this up and I'll tighten this onto it. Now while I inserted the tube and I'm tightening this nut, I was pushing in on the on off button. And what that does, it allows it to stabilize the piece that it screws into. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through my hole. You see it fits perfectly in one and a quarter inch. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to put some silicone just around the uh, button here so that it seals by the tub. And then this way um, it will have a good seal so no water will get in between uh, the button and on, on, underneath the side of the tub. Now I'll put this a uh, new button through the hole and on the back side I'm screwing it in that one piece so it makes a tight fit and then what I'll do is I'll just clean off the excess silicone that I put on there and that'll have a good seal in and around the tub. Now you see you have a on off switch that the button presses and works properly. 
I happen to use a uh, chrome button for this because the old one was more of a white button and now if uh, anybody comes new to change it they'll know that the new switch is this chrome button. Okay so we have the new control box in, uh, it's hooked up from the tubing to the new on off button and now what we need to do is fill the tub up and run a test to make sure it all works. I might need to prime this a little bit uh, because there's no air. Okay so we have the new on off switch in. Uh, it's pneumatic with the air. So what you have to do is you have to pump it. Uh, we probably pumped it 50 to 100 times to get air in from the switch to the control. Uh, so that took a little bit of time. And now if you press the button in, as you can see, turns on the control box, water runs in, if you press it again, it turns off the uh, jets. So as you can see, Today was the day we switched it. We got it now on the side. If something else happens to the on off button in the future, we could easily replace it. The old on off button on the opposite side, it's fine. It's disconnected. Uh, there's no problem. It's sealed. Um, so the new one works perfect.